Welcome to our third and final episode for mods this week, and it's actually our second mod episode for the creation kit. And today we have a Riverward remake, as he just told you we're in. But anyway, you can't really tell right off the bat what the main start is, but once I make this turn, you could already see the few extra houses across the river. And what this aims to do is, it brings Riverwood together as a full town instead of this small little dead town that it really gives you the feel of. Along with the add-on of a new bridge and four new houses, two of which are playable, two of which are not playable as of right now, it gives you lanterns for nighttime. And br basically that brings the town together instead of having it all dark like it normally is. It's these small little updates that I like, these little unknown mods that I really like to show off because it's things like this, once there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them in the game, it actually brings the game more lifelike instead of this one huge mod that only concentrates on this one little area, this huge area, but once you leave that area, it's like, okay, what, what did we accomplish by just that small area? And there's people like these because... There's, what are there now, five, six, seven of these kind of little towns that have been remade by several different people? It's, it's the models like that that really bring the game to its fullest, from my opinion anyway, because I'm not wandering around in dead towns anymore, and I really, really like that. Let's go on to our last part of the mod episode, and I didn't bring this up in there because I want to see what you guys thought about me bringing this up. And as you can tell, it's the... Oh, there we go. It is the Skyrim High res textures. I don't know about you, but I cannot tell they were high res. I didn't. I wasn't able to tell until I got up right in someone's face and looked at the clothes. I was like, "Oh, it's not blurry anymore." So I'm a little disappointed. I'm extremely dis disappointed. I thought it was actually going to be a really, really good mod. Well, DLC release until I got it the other day. I was, I'm extremely disappointed. And here I switch over for the night for you guys so you can see what Riverward feels like at nighttime now on the roads. That? And I, you can already tell a difference. I mean, it's going back to what I was talking about early. Those little, those little lights really bring it together. When I do have the ENB series running and all that, it really brings the game to life. As you, without that, you got these bright nights that these lights don't even matter. Yeah, but I'm getting sidetracked speaking about this mod, but to finish off the video today, how do you guys feel about the texture pack being a DLC? Le leave in the comments and let me know. For me, I'm actually disappointed. I was one of the people that were really excited, but I'm sadly disappointed with Bethesda and bringing this out. I'm going to actually go back to all my old textures, all the 4000 by 4000 textures since my computer is able to run them, but... I don't know why Bethesda's not doing that. They should have, if they were going to do it, maybe they should have released like a mid-range high-res and then and true high-res texture pack. I mean, 1000 by 1024, I think the texture pack is. I didn't get a chance to go into uh, the mod thing and check out the texture sizes, but it's very, very disappointing in my eyes. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Also, leave in the comments, what do you think about me doing small mods like this that you're normally not going to find unless you're refreshing that page on the Nexus, or by any godly chance it comes up on Steam. And let me know what you guys think about doing small mods like that. But anyway, share, rate, comment, like the video, favorite the video, do all that great stuff. And